What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, super quick video that I wanted to tell you. This is really gonna benefit people that are looking for a Canada Goose Hybrid Light jacket which is this one right here and also the Canada Goose hybrid base jacket. Now these are two jackets that are actually available from Canada Goose but what's happened is I've actually got two counterfeit jackets in because there's a huge influx of these two in fake jackets at the moment so I wanted to help people out who are looking on marketplaces, who are looking on places, places like Facebook group communities and you know eBay, Depop, all these types of places. I wanted to show you guys how you can go ahead and spot the fake, okay? Now, um, both of these jackets are available from Canada Goose, as I said. This is the hybrid light jacket, which is just a light down puffer jacket. Typically, this jacket should really be good for more kind of like everyday practical wear. It's quite light, it's highly water resistant. It should be more water resistant than the normal Parkers, like the Macmillans and the Maitlands. Uh, Langfords, the Wind Windham and all that type of stuff, okay? Now, what made me realize that this was actually a fake was the label inside here, guys. This label, it's always important to pay attention to this label right here. Now, reason being is what it is, is that the first label, which should be this one, gives you the style code um, and details of the jacket. So if you see this label here, it should usually be at the front, the uh, wash label um, pack of instructions that come with each Canada Goose. As you can see, this one has actually come as the third label, so that's already incorrect. It should not be like that, guys. Now, if you pay particular attention to this code style number, and it gives you a little number here, and if you Google this, 456JM, um, into the Canada Goose website or whatever style number it gives you if you if you if you search that into the Canada Goose website it will actually bring up the model of the actual jacket you're looking at and in fact when I did go ahead and when I did try to search this number here online um, it was actually coming up as the Canada Goose Citadel which is a very old model now so we know that that is actually um, that's actually incorrect that's not right now, so this is a very good way for you to tell if your jacket is counterfeit or not okay I would say uh, maybe like 70% seven, of the time the counterfeits actually do not have this information here what I've actually come across before is you have style and the color and everything but the information is actually blank and has not been filled in it's should always be filled in guys I would really really recommend you to check this label if you're buying from um, secondhand marketplaces ask the seller to send you this label and that can really help as I said that's only 70% of the time I do notice that maybe let's say for example 30% of counterfeits which are a bit more higher higher quality counterfeits are actually filling in this style code and they're filling it filling it out correctly the second thing to note is that this blue assurance label is totally the wrong color it's a little bit more of a darker color than this that's actually way too light and again it shouldn't be the first label anyway if you look at the if you look at the hologram logo it certainly looks like it could be real but they've gone and made a mistake because they've put it upside down so it shouldn't be upside down but if I turn it upside down you can see it properly so this is all incorrect if I'm opening it up this way then the um, hologram should be facing you um, I mean the hologram text should be the right the right way up okay Now, moving on to the hybrid base jacket. Another thing I would notice, I noticed that the color of this is really kind of a dull color. You have to have a lot of experience with like Canada Goose to know about the colors, but it's very, very dull. And I noticed that about fakes. I've even noticed it about the Montclair that uses that kind of polyamide or nylon finished material that it's usually quite a dull color. So that's one thing I noticed about this one. You'd have to have quite a few Canada Goose to kind of know that. But again, same story here, unfortunately. This one came with an old, um, this is the old style. Canada Goose label so that's that's an old one here inside here we can see that here we go boom this again it's using the incorrect label system now in fact this one they've gone ahead and put the hologram first uh, and if you look closely at the hologram you can see the alignment on on this is, is quite off it should be a lot more aligned and the hologram looks slightly bent on that label again they've used a different color um, assurance label should be a different color and on this one there is no style code whatsoever and I usually talk about this in the videos, but you can see these little cut lines.
lines here. What that means is when they cut these out on the machines, there's a little line that they use to line everything up, but you can still see the line. It's not meant to be visible, but it is, which shows that it's a bit more of a cheaper production. This is actually called the Highbridge Base Jacket. Now, typically on the real Canada Goose, the Highbridge would be the more slightly heavier version than the Highbridge Light, and it should have a bunch of different features, like it's got this kind of different material here going alongside the back whilst the Highbridge light has it going down the sides as you can see and also along the arms. This is to help with things like breathability and all that type of stuff. But you know, in saying that, this is this is not using Canada Goose technology, it's not using, I don't know what's in there. I have had reports of um, companies saying that they have found um, dog hairs, cat hairs with inside inside the, the wool, which is why they say sometimes you've got to be careful with the counterfeits because actually the jackets can make you ill because if the, if the whatever whatever they're using inside the jacket, whatever fur or wool or whatever it is inside, if it's not treated properly, it can actually grow like a bacteria in a mold and a mold and you can start breathing that in and that can actually make you ill. Think that these counterfeiters are here to do you a favor and to look after you and give you discounts on jackets, but you know, counterfeiting is not a nice business at all when you look inside of it. There's a lot of things like uh, child labor and um, bad working conditions for people. And, you know, usually a lot more dark and sinister stuff going on with counterfeits. It's not this kind of lovely industry that people make it out to be that are making designer goods cheap for everyone because they want to hook you up. It's it's not usually like that, to be honest with you. I'm going to be doing lots more videos, so make sure you stay tuned to it. This is just more a reference video to help people out, so hopefully people that watch this find it useful. Now remember, if you're looking for the genuine Canada Goose, you can always go ahead and check out our website, thehoxandtrend.com. On there, we show legitimate places to buy Canada Goose. We show people official stockists. So if anyone's not an official stockist, if anyone's not an official reseller, um, reseller of the Canada Goose, authenticated by Canada Goose, then you will not find those people on our site. We only show the genuine ones. And in fact, we had quite a lot of codes, discount codes, over the past couple of weeks where we had like cat a retailer giving us 20% off Canada Goose um, and lots of people finding um, really cool deals and this stuff sometimes this stuff is given to us by the retailers and we spread that out to, amongst our followers and sometimes we just find these deals but believe me they, they, they're very rare they're, they're very hard come by so you, you can use our website to find these exclusive deals that you might not get anywhere else okay so guys listen that's it lots more videos coming stay tuned for it I'm out of here peace out